Um, you know, I, I totally understand the frustration and I understand the question with, with our record. Um, you know, you, you go into last year and a lot of people were expecting it more last year, um, so we didn't get it quite as much. And the way we finished, um, I totally expected people to be more frustrated because I think people did have higher, higher expectations going into this year. Um, so did we. And, you know, we thought we'd start better than 0-9 last year also, though, even though the expectations weren't quite as high. Um, you know, I think it was a tough blow early in the year, as everyone knows, losing McKinnon and then losing our starting quarterback. Um, so I do think that takes a toll, and I think everyone understands that. Um, but that doesn't mean that we can't win games. And I believe, you know, I think we've played in two games now without Jimmy, and I think we have been more incapable of winning both of those games, and we haven't gotten it done. Um, so you try to look at that, and you just try to say to the players, why did we um, lose those games? What did we do good? What did we do bad? And I think there's lots of answers in there what we could have done better to win. And that's really all you can focus on. I, I understand the pressure that people have, players, coaches, personnel people. You know, it's different in this day and age where, you know, you, you hear everything. You know, it's, it's hard to simplify your world. And, you know, with social media, um, with guys go home, even if they don't listen to things, they, th their wives do, their girlfriends do, their brothers do. Um, so it's, it's, that's the world we live in. So it's when you go through that stuff and you don't meet outside expectations, it starts to affect you. And I just try to constantly preach to our guys um, to be stronger than that, to try to not pay attention to that, because that's not going to help you solve any problems. Um, that's part of what we do. That's part of what we signed up for, and we expect it. Now, are we capable of winning these games? I definitely think we are. You know, I, um, I think you can look at numbers or you can watch the film. You know, um, I thought we did a lot to where we should have won that game yesterday. But I can tell you exactly why we gave ourselves no chance to. We had five turnovers, and they had zero. Uh, you can go to the San Diego game, and I can make, we can talk the same way, and I can come up with things. Um, you know, when you have no chance in hell and you look at that, then that's pretty discouraging. Um, I know we've been through some adversity. Um, I know this is the hand that we've been dealt, and I think we have the people in our organization. Um, I think we have the players. I think we have strong enough people who can deal with it and man up and find a way to win. Um, it's never easy. It definitely gets harder um, when you do have injuries and things like that. Um, but we have people in here that can win games. We could have won that game yesterday, and we came up short. And that starts with me. Um, we got two, two days to deal with it, um, two days to look through all of it. And when our players come in, um, we'll be moving on to Green Bay. And we'll have another chance to do this. And that is what's cool about the NFL. No matter what happens, uh, you get a chance the next week to redeem yourself. And if we don't, it'll be just as hard as it is now, if not harder. Um, but we don't plan on that happening. We plan on getting this out of our system here over the next couple of days. We plan on manning up, coming to work, not worrying about things we can't control, and focusing on getting better. And uh, I'll be very surprised if our guys don't do that. Is, uh, is the injury situation lightening up to the point where you would think about considering or think about adding a, a third quarterback this week? Yeah, I mean, I see a very similar situation right now as last, as last week. I mean, we're, we're talking about this stuff every Monday. Um, we had a number of running backs in today to work out. Um, you know, we, we haven't come to a conclusion yet on the quarterback. We'll look more into that tomorrow, since tomorrow will be Monday. We'll still have two more days. Are you looking to add a running back this week? Um, possibly. We're, we're trying to see how our guys are, how the health of Breed is. It was better news than anticipated, but it's still not great news. Um, so we'll see that over the next couple of days. And it was, it was good to take a look at some guys today. You were so good a couple of weeks ago disclosing some names for the uh, quarterbacks. I would assume you'll do the same right now for the running backs. So yeah. who, who came in today? I just all I remember was jersey numbers. Okay. So, you know, I don't remember all the names. Sorry. I mean, are they proven? Are they, um, are yeah, they we guys? had, um, you know, I, I don't want to leave anybody's name out. It would be insulting to them because I sh should have them all like that, but I just don't. In the running to be. Yes, elevated. Jeff would definitely be in the running. I, I could tell you, Jeremy McNichols, we worked out, um, you know, because we had him here um, throughout training camp and stuff. So there's four others. Matt Breed has never run more than 12 times in a game, but yesterday he ran eight times in the first quarter. It looked like he was going to have a monster career day. What was your impression of him in that first quarter? I, I thought he's been running how he has all year. You know, he's been hitting it hard. He had a real good week of practice. Um, you know, I know he was limited with his shoulder and stuff, but his legs were moving a lot better than the week before, you know, after he hyperextended his knee, I think, versus Kansas City. Um, so I thought he was fresher going into it. Um, and, you know, he's been running good all year, and the guy's been giving him good lanes. So um, it's unfortunate he had that injury, but um, I've been real happy with Brita.